No, of course not. Oh, shut.
Glass kicked out on the car. at such a spectacular point of the track as Nick and Brooke. But let's just walk you through the grid, ladies and gentlemen. On the front row, uh, Paul Lutie, the MG Penny 500, we've just been talking about, uh, with a, an average speed just put into perspective of six miles an hour above the motorway speed limit. That's the average speed, including the hairpin. Wow, they fly. Oh, it's just a jelly charm, they live there. Back of the grid. Oh, so, uh, now it's going with the big hammer has done its work. <laughs> the wooden block so and, and apparently Zach had an off yesterday in testing so car on the ninth row 41 David Williams and 44 Alistair Rushforth we're watching for the lights on the 10th row 65 David Koskila and 82 Helen Waddington and 8 Charles Hazel after his off into the wall yesterday the green flag is shown at the back of the grid and we're almost there here at Alton Park yes there are the lights the revs already high, the lights are off, and off they go. A brilliant, wonderful start by Paul Lutey and Chris Bray trying to go down the inside of Paul Lutey into Old Hall, but he can't quite do it. Doug Cole, Colin Robertson, Andrew Bradford, there they are, Paul, strolling down the avenue towards you. Yeah, they're coming to sight, and you're right, lutey has got the drop. He's got the drop on Chris Bray at the start, and a huge amount of locking up. I think that's the... Uh, it was the Andrew Radford TF some, uh, locking up there, but uh, I'm pleased to say everybody's safely away and uh, we've got to keep an eye on Charles Hazel. How far is he going to get up the grid? We've also got this superb battle in Class C to watch out for. So everybody's safely away. I'm pleased to say, Andrew, heading up towards the Shell Oils hairpin, where I understand there's some new viewing places up there. I haven't had a chance to go up there, but apparently Motorsports uh, Vision, who've done a superb job on improving the circuit facilities over the winter have now made a viewing point so you can actually get up there and see the really tightly banked Shell Oils hairpin. So we're looking at Hilltop. We're expecting it to be Paul Lutie, I'm pretty sure as they come into sight, but the rest of the place is up for grabs, I think. Now, it always seems to take a very long time, but they're into sight and coming down 
for the first time it is Looty, then it's Bray, and then we'll try and pick up who's in third place, but Looty into the chicane, then it's Bray, and then it's 87, that's Colin Robertson, so Colin's up to third, then it's Andrew Radford fourth, then it's Ben Jake, so Doug Cole being shuffled down to sixth Andrew from his third place. Oh, sixth Andrew, yeah, he goes for a big, big spin. having a look now and the reason is that he's coming under huge pressure from, from Colin Robertson in fact there's nothing between the first five cars and uh, oh well it's still brave then it's Robertson but then Jay Stubb Cole has got quicker cars I'm sure and, uh, Thank you. 